Thanks for watching another video guys. So I've been asked so many times, how can I get a car and only keep it for six months? Does not cost me a fortune. And how do I buy my cars? So story short, I first bought a C63 in the Macan. I did this easily because I sold my other cars in America and we moved to England. So I had enough money to buy these cars. Then I consolidated the two cars and then I had to save some money. And then I bought a Panamera. And then after a little bit, I got bored of the Panamera. We're having problems with it with Porsche and everything. You can watch my videos if you're interested in that. And then I consulted that into the Audi e-tron 55, which is which was the fast one back then. And then I got fed up with the charging infrastructure. And then we bought this C300. And as you can tell, the Audi e-tron 55 is going to be a lot more expensive than C300. So I actually have, would have money left over. So that's actually... That's how I did it. So I'm not going to end up paying any finance on top of what I actually paid for the car. So since the C300 was only going to be a temporary car anyways, because I've already had the C63 and faster cars, I just needed something temporary to basically just last us until I could find something else to buy. So I did buy the Audi SQ8, the 4 liter by Turbo V8. So that's the reason I'm going to get rid of the C300, just because I'm going to get... I don't have, it's too hard for me to change the baby seats from the SQ8 into the Mercedes. And honestly, the Audi's fast enough to do everything right now until I can find a really fast car. So I did decide to get windows tinted on the C300. So that cost me 189 pounds. I did 5% on the back three. So the back passenger seats and the rear window itself. So pretty good deal. This is a cost that you don't have to do. I also upgraded some of the stereo, but I was able to take that back out and recuperate my costs on at least those things. So when I bought this car, I made sure it wouldn't need a service in the time that I'd have it. The only thing that it actually ended up needing to have done is it needed the uh, top up of the coolant. So if you're in the US, you can buy this at Target, you can buy it at Napa, you can buy it at Home Depot. It should be less than $12, only between 10 and 11. If you're in the UK, you can get this from Halfords or your local automotive shop. Or like me, if you can order it through work, you can do that and get it for less. I only paid eight pounds for this, and that's British currency. So after two months of owning the SQ8, I decided to sell my C300. I sold it for 22,368. I could have got more if I sold it privately, or if I tried a little harder, maybe to get to a dealer. I just almost sell everything to we buy any car. It's just quick and easy. Okay, I'm going to show you what it would have cost me if I had actually bought the car with like a PCP finance deal. So when you put so much money down, you get a term that you have to pay. And then at the end, if you decide you want to keep the car, you have a balloon payment. Um, I never would recommend that, but you know, each their own. And then I'll also tell you what it would have cost in finance if you had done it with like a traditional finance company. So the PCP, if I had done it on this car, I talked to the guys, so I, I know actually the numbers, numbers. So it would have been 356 pound a month, and that's with a 2,800 pound down. And the finance would have been 680 a month with 2,800 pound down as well. So the PC in a six month period would have cost me 4,936. Finance over that six month period would have cost me 6,820 pound. And if you did the math, you can see the way I did it, it only cost me 1,632 pound to drive this car for six months with no other cost besides the little bit for the engine coolant. And yes, I understand not everybody is going to fit in these circumstances where you can just trade into another car. But if you can't, a lot of the time it works out to be cheaper to just do a finance deal on the car and to do it privately rather than do it to the car dealers. You'll actually save money. Like even a Sainsbury loan is cheaper than some of the car finance deals. So honestly, do your research and then hopefully you guys come out on top too. Like honestly, for £1,632 for six months, I think is reasonable. Also, I think it's actually cheap to drive a C300, which is a pretty expensive car anyways, and to enjoy it and then to get out of it for that little amount. If you divide that over six months, that's only £272 a month. And that's honestly such a good deal. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next Wednesday. If you also have a question, message me and I really will try to make your video. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.